Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the Hunts Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content is video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content's channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. What's going on, Ravens Flock? Uh, it's Wednesday. We're doing that injury report for you, of course. Um, yeah, Ravens had a lot of players on the injury report. Some rest, some injury related. So we're just going to hop right into it and, and go down the list, all right? So I want to start off. The Ravens have two players on IR that I want to, I want to mention real quick. Rookie Jalen Armour Davis. John Harbaugh said that he's done for the season. Um, he's not going to make it back off of IR. While uh, Tylen Wallace, uh, John Harbaugh said, has a chance to return this season. Obviously, neither guy played very much um, when they were active. But just two guys to mention that, you know, Ravens fans obviously know their name, okay? All right. Now, uh, the DMP list is long today for practice. A lot of guys missed practice today. Uh, but we'll go through the different reasons why that happened, okay? So, first, Calais Campbell was rest. Trista Colon had a family emergency. John Harbaugh said something about his fiance or whatever. He had to go home, take care of that. So, hope everything's all right with that. You know, he'll back, he'll be back at practice. So, um, Devin Duvernay, rest. Uh, Justin Houston, rest. Lamar Jackson, knee injury. No surprise there. We probably will not see Lamar Jackson this week at all, especially not in practice. So, I don't expect to see him in the game on Sunday, but we've already discussed that. Uh, the Ravens officially are calling it a, a sprained uh, PCL which is like one to three weeks recovery time. So we'll see what happens with Lamar Jackson on that. Um, but out this week, more than likely. Okay, Patrick McCarry, toe injury. We saw him leave the game on Sunday, so no surprise he pops up here. Morgan Moses, rest. Marcus Peters, rest. Kevin Zeitler has a knee injury. Um, that's kind of a new one that popped up. Didn't know about that one, so we'll see. We got to monitor that because he's been great at right guard this season. And obviously, you want him, him to keep him in the game, keep it rolling, man. He's been... Uh, one of the Ravens' most, um, how can I say, it, reliable players this season. That's what Kevin Seidler has been. So definitely don't want to uh, have him missing uh, significant time. So hopefully it's just out for this practice and, you know, we get it going later in the week. All right. Uh, Daryl Worley makes me good special teams plays on Sunday. Has a hamstring injury. He was he did not practice. So we'll see what goes on with that. All right. So limited. We got Patrick Queen with the thigh injury. Um, he was listed as limited in practice. We saw him get carted off. His teammates be giving him hell about that. Uh, but he said that he didn't even really want the cart. The, the team made him get on it. Um, so it sounds like Patrick Queen is good. John Harbaugh said that Patrick Queen looks good. He's good to go. So PQ should be out there ready to go on Sunday. So that's a good start to the week. All right. Uh, Christian Welch, another special teamer, had a concussion, um, I guess, from the game or, or maybe previously. So he was limited in practice today. Now, uh, big news, full participant in practice, Ronnie Stanley with that ankle injury that Knocked him out of um, the game a couple weeks ago versus the uh, Panthers, right? So, that is the Ravens injury report. Those are the main guys. So, I know it's like a long, long list, but really there's a lot of rest days in there. The big guys in here, obviously, Lamar Jackson. Um, but we already know what's going on with that. The fact that he probably will not play this weekend, uh, which is fine. You know, let him rest up. Let him get right. Um, if he needs two weeks, give him two weeks. You know, I would love to see Lamar Jackson back next week. But if he needs more time... Let him have more time, all right? Um, but yeah, a lot of rest days. You know, Calais Campbell, DuVernay, Justin Houston, Marcus Peters, Morgan Moses. So a lot of important guys. The guys that um, the guy I want to look out for right here is Kevin Zeitler with that knee injury. Like I said, that one kind of popped up suddenly. Um, didn't really see it. He didn't leave the game on Sunday or nothing like that. He played the entire game. So now for him to have uh, be on the injury report, the injury is a little um, maybe not concerning because it's just the beginning of the week. But it is something to watch out for, okay? Um, but on the flip side, Ravens got some good news, obviously, like I said, with Ronnie Stanley being like a full participant. Uh, we saw that this offensive line, the Denver has a good defense, but this offensive line still didn't perform out to their to their standard to that, that they want to perform. Um, and ended up getting, you know, Lamar Jackson hurt. You know what I mean? We've got to be completely honest about that, all right? It happens, you know what I'm saying? But um, Ronnie Stanley coming back will be a big, big addition to this offensive line. It's a player that the Ravens need as um, a player that all Ravens fans are hoping and wishing to see uh, play more consistently, right? Uh, I'm not one to blame guys for injuries or anything like that. You know, he got his ankle rolled up on by Lamar Jackson. That's not really his fault. That's not really being injury prone. That's just unfortunate. You know, you know that's how the uh, that's how luck of the draw is sometimes, all right? But, yeah, that's your Ravens injury report, man. A lot of guys rested. Um, one big guy, well, two big guys back, Patrick Queen, Ronnie Stanley at full. So, you know, it's looking good. It's trending in the right direction. This is still this week. So the Ravens are going to need everything they have 
Now, I don't care what the records are or anything like that. When the Ravens play the Steelers, it's always going to be a good game. It's always going to be competitive. It's always going to be something that uh, it's a storyline going in. So, um, yeah, but that's the injury report. Um, we'll get a little bit more clarity tomorrow. And then uh, Friday, we'll do the gang status update. And uh, we'll talk about it from there, man. But the Ravens are looking pretty healthy. Hopefully, we can get even healthier going throughout this week. But not too bad on this injury report, man. So, uh, yeah, you know, drop a comment, anything like that. You know, we'll talk about it down there. It's your boy Gabe with just another fan TV. I'm out.